Зараз я хочу вас познайомити із Сарою Браун, головою та співзасновницею like благодійного фонду «Their World». Цей фонд займається благодійністю вже понад 20 років. До України Сара була цей проєкт. Це всесвітня дитяча благодійна організація, яка прагне подолати глобальну кризу освіти та розкрити потенціал наступного покоління. Тож, Сара, вітаю вас і дякую за вашу відлюжість. Дякую. Who had other dreams and goals, now devoting their time and risking their lives on the front line of war. We hold their dreams in our hearts and hope that we will continue to help to realize those talents when this terrible war is over. But let's also understand that the talent that we must build must start now, that this great sacrifice must never be wasted. Let us invest in the youngest children, those starting out in life whose future awaits them, awaits in what we hope will be a much more peaceful Ukraine. And for those whose school is disrupted, who can all dream of the day when they can rebuild their country and their local communities again. The future builders, architects, financiers, teachers, public sector workers, and creative people who will enrich the arts and culture all over the country. Ukrainian children, their parents, their teachers are all determined to build their skills and their training to help rebuild their country, to return home once they're displaced from Ukraine, to be able to come back, now living in host countries like the United Kingdom, my country. Not only is the mental health of young people supported and protected by the normality of keeping up education, but it will also continue to build the resilience and focus that we have seen in all Ukrainian people, from the President and the First Lady themselves to the youngest of citizens. In the UK and in the USA, we're determined to be good allies and to find our best way to support and contribute. Our governments are supporting the war efforts, and in the, in the NGOs, in the charities, we're looking ahead to the future too, to support the future peacetime when Ukrainians can return home and rebuild this magnificent country. So let me tell you what their world has been doing and what we will continue to do in the future. This has been a busy day at the summit for the First Ladies and Gentlemen, hosted by Olena Zelensky, and full of wonderful announcements to help. But I think it's also important to share what we're doing for education so that you can know that this support is there and you can reach out if you think there is more for us to do. Their World is a global children's charity whose vision is to end the global education crisis and to unleash the potential of the next generation by ensuring that every young person has the best start in life, has a safe school to attend, a safe place to learn, and has the skills for the future. Our work at Their World with Ukrainian families, with the children, with their teachers, started with Their World at the Global Business Coalition for Education to help teachers and students reconnect to learning during the war, to learning and psychosocial support. With the support of tech companies HP and Microsoft, and in collaboration with the Elena Zelenska Foundation, we have delivered 70,000 laptops, over 38,000 inside Ukraine, and the remaining to refugees in host countries, from Hungary and Poland to Romania, Moldova, Germany, and also the United Kingdom. The Elena Zelenska Foundation was an instrumental partner in making this possible to support teachers and students connect back to learning. With the support of the players of the People's Postcode Lottery, we have supported programs like Stay with Ukraine to help children refugees connect with teachers and Ukrainian culture here in their own country as they await their return and have mental health and psychosocial support. And now we are working with your government to, to work on accelerated learning programs, heeding the priority of President Zelensky to focus on maths and sciences to help rebuild Ukraine. 
and we're in discussions with the Ministry on comprehensive support for early childhood education because mental health starts with the youngest children and is cultivated by the teachers and parents they engage with. We all know that it's by forming partnerships that we can identify how best to help and keep the well-being of every child at the forefront. We listen, we learn, and we deliver. By working together, we believe in the Ukraine dream to build a peace one day that will last generations. You know, this is not my first First Lady Summit, although it's my first in Ukraine, hosted by Mrs. Elena, and this is her third. I remember hosting a G20 summit for spouses in London during the global financial crisis back in 2009, and also hosting maternal mortality campaign events during the G7 leader summits in Japan and later in Rome with the World Food Programme, then headed by Josette Sheeran. Josette and I like to think that we unlocked a global superpower, the power of the political spouse. But now I look and I think we only scratched the surface of the First Lady potential. And you're seeing that here today. Can I also add as a side note that while I was the spouse of the UK Prime Minister Gordon Brown at that time, I say he was PM at that time, we're still very much happily married today, I was never actually the First Lady myself because in the United Kingdom, we have the Queen who holds that title. And I say this because every time First Ladies are mentioned and I'm somehow in the room, I find that I get an awful lot of letters and social media posts reminding me about that fact. Now, Alina Zelenska is a remarkable First Lady, and this summit here today proves that. You know that no one would think anything of it if Alina Zelenska had chosen to just protect herself and her children. It might even make her husband's job easier to have one less thing to worry about. But in addition to protecting her children, she has been there from the start of the invasion, stepping up and playing her part. Her focus on mental health through her foundation is so important, and so too has been her real focus on education, overlapping and partnering on our project. She is a remarkable woman who has stood up for the Ukrainian people and is the champion of those who are vulnerable, at risk, and in need of greater support to steer themselves and the country through this treacherous time. I, for one, value her personal support. She even travelled to the United States and during her time in Washington, D.C., met with the president of their world, Dr. Justin Van Fleet, met him personally so that she could thank him for their world and the Global Business Coalition's work in distributing laptops and software. And her foundation was instrumental in ensuring that over half of the computers went to children and teachers who'd been displaced inside Ukraine. Remember, each individual laptop has to be programmed individually with the software, so it was not an easy logistical task to achieve. We're so grateful and we are so determined to do more. We've already lined up new support for early years projects. These are for the youngest citizens inside Ukraine, and we've been putting out the call for new supporters to get more laptops out of storage up and running with the individually registered software so that more children and more teachers can have them as they need them. So wherever they are, displaced inside or outside of the country, they're able to keep learning and to keep enjoying learning. If we can do this, then the means to provide better mental health support is there. Support for teachers, children and their families, all of them displaced from a life that they're used to but all of them keen to learn and keen to be able to contribute back to the future of their country. I've mentioned some of our partners and supporters, and we are in conversations with several more. Governments are focused on their help for the war effort, but this is where the voluntary sector, philanthropists and corporations can step up and make themselves useful in a military crisis that threatens us all. I thank you for the opportunity to share what we're doing here in Kyiv at the Summit for the First Ladies and Gentlemen. The focus on mental health is welcomed, and their world's work in education supports that, to give every child in Ukraine, wherever they now find themselves, the chance for the best start in life, a safe place to learn, and skills for the future. It is time to unlock big change, and together we will do just that. We will listen, we will learn, and we will go away from here ready to deliver for the people of Ukraine.
thank you.